Hello guys, it's 4.40 in the morning. Uh, today is Saturday 29th of May and what I'm doing is boiling the kettle not to prepare a coffee but to uh, prepare the seeds of a beautiful plant that I failed twice to plant. That is the Sturz Desert Pea, the Swainsona Formosa. And I'll show you what I am doing. One second, I put this on the tripod so you can see how I prepare the seeds. Okay, so guys, just a little bit. Okay, so in uh, twenty ten, October twenty ten, I went to Australia and I for yeah, I stayed there for one year in a working holiday visa, and uh, I saw a few botanical gardens, and basically I got. Uh, one bag of Stuart Desert Peas so in Suna Formosa from any of them. I planted the first time two years ago uh, in uh, spring. Unfortunately, uh, the spring was early spring, and I had to keep the seeds in. Um, in uh, the house to germinate and unfortunately it is uh, it was uh, evidently not great because they didn't receive enough sun and uh, i tried to water the plant just enough to keep the seeds um, moist but without any uh, water uh, without any water uh, any water logging of the uh, compost uh, i used a very free drain compost it was like half sand and half uh, john innes However, uh, John Innes foresees germination, however, uh, unfortunately, this was uh, the um, was not very good, uh, only a few seeds uh, germinated and um, just uh, um, the few that germinated died basically between two weeks and uh, about eight weeks I planted. I was really, really sorry because theoretically according to these instructions the plant needs just nine weeks to bloom. So I decided to do it this year because we are having a very 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 uh, hot and sunny weather and hopefully this time I will plant them directly straight away out and uh, hopefully will germinate and, um, and grow uh, until flowering hopefully. Uh, I had four bags of this stool desert pea and unfortunately I saw all of them with disastrous results as I said so this is the only one left at the moment I have just a half a bag of this uh, Australian seeds I bought this particular one at the botanical gardens in Adelaide uh, South Australia and uh, well South Australia is also the country the, not the county, sorry, the state in Australia was a, a flower state emblem is the Sturz de Serpide, so in Funa Formosa. So it's an icon from Luru, and I remember when it was in the spring, I was, watch, was seeing basically this flower, this uh, it grows basically, it's a desert flower and grows basically uh, everywhere. Uh, it is, uh, I've saw it in the desert, also in, in Alice Springs. And uh, growing on sidewalks in the crisis and sidewalk, uh, really, you could think that this plant can grow everywhere. Instead, no, it's a very, very peculiar requirement to grow out, uh, growing. Uh, the thing, thing is, uh, as it says, I've read a few, um, I've read a few um, articles about it that uh, it actually uh, it is gr grow as an annual uh, and due to the fact it has a tap root that are very fragile they need to be sown in position or transplant carefully all um, sources I've read they said to not transplant the plant at all because 99% will die so plant it straight away in the place that you want it to 
Uh, here, when I live in Kent, uh, in the area of Kent, I live, uh, the soil is uh, mostly clay and obviously I don't want the plants to get uh, water or considering how delicate is the root system to fusarium and root rot. So I decided to use uh, this time, like the last time, uh, terracotta pots that offer a great, um, a great uh, drainage and uh, also evaporation through the sides. What I will do this year instead is going soilless. I will use just great sand and uh, clay uh, pebbles. Uh, clay pebbles are, from a point of view, uh, great for keeping the humidity but leaving air. However, when the um, uh, when they dry up, they basically dry up so quickly that sucks suck humidity from everywhere so i thought that considering the mix i am using the clay pellets would be great for improving the aeration of the soil well not the soil of the medium actually and uh, keep it as uh, with as less humidity as possible uh, again this is a it says a perennial according to all the sources i read this plant is really an annual i found that only when the uh, sprouts of the uh, sweet peas are grafted on the Clianthus ponicius, the leafwood ponicius, there is a relative, a New Zealand relative. This actually can be grown as a perennial for a few years. Uh, another thing is that the Stuart desert pea is a, um, even is a plant of the, with seeds, sorry guys, I, also, I almost uh, drop my phone okay put it there okay uh, the seeds are very very resistant to uh, um, to desiccation and can uh, actually many seeds are not viable for more than a year but in the Stuart desert pea the plants really is uh, the seeds are actually resistant for many years so even if it says best before march 2015 seed count 25 i uh, uh, am confident that they will be still be able to germinate because i planted the first time in 2017 and anyway uh, some of them germinate so these are the seeds i've just put a few because as you can see i've just a few left about 10 from a pack of about 25 seeds so I'll drop them here. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, let's do another one, six. Okay. And, okay, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, I planted. I planted seven and I have here other one, two, three, four four five and six as you can see and i will keep it like this so what i've done is putting in the i have now seven seeds and you know i have boiled the kettle These plants uh, have a very resistant seed coat, so the best way is uh, let the kettle boil with about uh, 10 minutes after it finished boiling and then soak the seeds in the hot water, leaving them for about 10 minutes. In this way, the changes in pressure due to the very hot water will make the seeds uh, uh, basically uh, the seed coat uh, um, weaken so the water can permeate can permeate it so let's do this and uh, what I will do is leaving the seeds uh, here for about 5-10 minutes in this very hot water and then add some cold water and then let seeds soak until the evening or until tomorrow. Uh, the seeds, if they are fertile, should uh, swell and then they will be ready to plant. Uh, as you can see here, I have a 
couple of seeds that look pretty good they are they are quite big and uh well the other there's other four that look a little bit smaller possibly still be all right and one that looks very very small smallest and i don't think will be uh they'll have great chances to germinate so i think actually i have just really two chances of the plant germinating yesterday i booked uh, another um like i found a uk um seller selling uh, uh, so and so and formosa seeds it is garden wonders guard plant who garden plant wonders i think and uh, i bought luckily had uh, 11 packs available of these uh, uh, plants and i bought uh, seven uh, he also the price was two pounds fifty uh, for ten seeds and uh, this is uh, uh, well as you see even in australia they don't really put many seeds in seed packet i found actually yesterday online an australian seller that was it was a very cheap price 70 seeds of australian desert pea for three australian dollars yeah 3.5 australian dollars three australian dollars 50 cents however unfortunately it didn't uh, it didn't uh, um, ship to uh, it didn't ship to um, uh, to uk so well actually i think that the temperature of the water is not that hot let's let's see No, actually, no, it's not that hot. I think I will put some more water. And the fact that I left about 10 minutes after boiling the kettle. I'll leave them here to soak. And then I will show you how to uh, plant them in the uh, compost uh, sorry in the medium I chose well you I hope you enjoyed the talk more than the video because really you don't see much in this video other than soaking the seeds and opening a seed bag hopefully if you follow me in my adventure you will see much better um, uh, progress with this uh, seeds and hopefully they will bloom and they will bloom so you'll see the beautiful red flowers of this plant in um, I hope by August hopefully okay guys so now I let the seeds soak in the water and I will see you later today or maybe tomorrow morning to plant these seeds that as you can see are already swelling in the water Thank you very much for watching the video and uh, hopefully I will give you a lot of updates uh, in the next few days. Bye guys and I'll see you in the next video today. Cheers.